I studied Judaism for a while and practiced that for a while, then visited the synagogue. Um, but that didn't feel right for me. So I said, well, there's one more monotheistic religion, Islam, let me study that. Uh, so I went to the mosque, I went to an uh, introduction to Islam class they had at the mosque. And it's sort of interesting, my parents separated when I was very young. And my mom married when I was one and her husband adopted me. So as far as I know, he was my father. I actually met my biological father later and he's Muslim. And he entered my life about the time that I was searching. So he sent me my first Quran and I asked him a lot of questions as well. I knew Islam was the truth, it was very logical for me. And the fact that the Quran, there's only one author, it hasn't changed, it's always been in Arabic, and that was important for me, and it hasn't changed. I joined a lot of groups and I asked questions there, you know. Um, I have a reputation for thinking too much, and my dad actually told me that. He's like, yes, you're overthinking this, <laughs> you know. Do you believe it or you don't? But I always had more questions. The biggest concern was my family. Uh, as I said, my family is very religious, and I grew up in the church, and, and it actually did happen. My mother still struggles with it because she sees it as so I, I rejected her and adopted the religion of my father, who didn't raise me, who wasn't there for me, and she feels like, you know, you're following him. He didn't raise you. He didn't do anything for you, and I'm the one who raised you, and, and you're rejecting my religion type of thing. Because I was very religious, so most of my friends were as well. So for me to not accept Jesus as God or the Son of God, that was not something that they were willing to entertain someone like that as a friend. So I lost all my friends pretty much. Well, I have a whole new batch of friends, of course. Um, a better relationship with an understanding of who God really is because of Islam. Because, you know, with... Christianity, and I don't like to put down another religion, but with Christianity, you have this whole thing. We have to make all these analogies. It's a grapes, a group of grapes, and one grape is this, or it's water and ice and snow, and they're all forms of water, and an egg and a shell and a yolk, and you know all these things. You don't have to do that with the slim for Allah. He's just He's God, the one and the only. You know, I chose to be Muslim, and being Muslim is what I want to be. No one forced me on it, and I'm happier. I said, for you, you have all these things with Jesus and God, and, you know, if Jesus was God and Jesus died, so you're saying God died? I don't have that with, with being Muslim. The God I believe in has no beginning, no end. He doesn't die. He's always been there, and he's always in control. And that works better for me.